What's going on fam? It's your boy Tim Condi and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the mindset in regards to going back to the gym. The gyms will be opening up soon in about a week and a half. I'm super excited to go back into the gym and train, see my buddies and whatnot, but we gotta get the mindset right first in regards to going back to the gym. Also, I'll be talking about what exactly is in my gym bag. I had like one or two questions in regards to like what do I carry when I go to the gym. Let's go. Quick side note, install the mirror into the gym. Look how clean this is. It's got the mirror going and we added one more pole. Let's go. I was gonna go outside on the swing set and use that as my pull-up bar, but they legit wrapped the whole park like a barricade, so literally you can't go into the park. So that's done oh. with more pull-ups. So definitely I'll be doing all my workouts in the home gym. So I'm gonna take you along, probably do a quick little edit, but I do wanna show you what's in my gym bag. All right, so here's my gym bag. We're gonna start off with the side pocket. Right now I just got um, my supplements. So I got my pre-workout in here pump product and muscle builder product when you open up the main compartment we have my lifting belt so obviously in the gym i use this um a lot it's got a lot of wear and tear in it i use this for over four and a half years going on five and it's still holding up i definitely need a new belt but they are kind of expensive um this is an inzer belt so very high quality i have these um lifting straps so these are really good compared to um the other ones i don't know if i have them in here Sorry about that guys, so compared to these, so these are um, completely different, these are the, the lifting um, wraps, but I do prefer these just because you can wrap around your wrist, and you could use this part obviously to wrap around the bar or dumbbell, so these are great. I also have um, some more supplements because they can't fit in the bag, so I got creatine as well as um, BCAs. Um, I have this of course, so I use this a lot during leg days, so this is the deep season massage gun, highly highly recommend it. I am selling them at a discounted price, so if you're interested in getting one of these, let me know and I'll ship it out to you. Last but not least, we got these clips, high quality clips, keep the weight in place. Alright, so I also got these things that basically just make the gym bag smell good when I put all my sweaty clothes in there after a lift. And in the side compartment, I got knee sleeves, so these are definitely only used for leg day. Super supportive. I do need a new pair of these. These are from Redcon 1. I love obviously the material, but I need a new pair of these. Uh, these are a little bit too big because I've been using them a lot. So I definitely want to pick up a medium pair uh, when they restock. So they're out of stock. So pretty much, yeah, that's my whole gym bag. Nothing too crazy. I use everything uh, I've shown you at the moment. And yeah, that's pretty much all I need at the gym to get a good work at it. That's gonna conclude what's in my gym bag. Feel free to shoot me a message down below on what is in your gym bag. What's going on guys? So I just wanted to conclude the video with the correct mindset to go back to the gym. Now, a lot of you guys are anxious to get back to the gym and get to where you were prior to quarantine. So that's really not the case. We gotta get the mindset right. So first off, you gotta leave the ego at the door. I feel like a lot of people are just gonna jump into, you know, squatting their heaviest, benching their heaviest, and that's really gonna lead to a lot of injuries. So in order to prevent that, you really wanna have the right mindset going in. Take your time, 
work on their form and use progressive overload. That's the best way to make the most progress and not get injured. You know, you're in this for the long run. I feel that muscle memory for everybody. If you were committed and dedicated to the gym before, by taking your time, muscle memory will take over and you'll get your gains back as long as you put in the work and take your time. Like I said, you don't wanna rush into it because that can lead to further injuries. Also, I recommend taking a couple more rest days. So for example, if you're running a six day split, maybe drop down the workload to four to five days, just so you have extra time to recover because like I said, once you hit those weights, your muscles are gonna get reactivated and you need the time to recover. So that's just my tip in regards to getting back into the gym. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know on this channel I drop a lot of health and fitness tips. If you're new to the channel, press that red button. Subscribe to the channel for more content. As always guys, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you on the next one.